and you know, while all this is going on, you know, in when you do a show like this and you move to different stories, the next story, each story has a story slug. You're yeah. learning this, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. This one's the called, slug. yes, <laughs> this one's called Trump's Horrific Month. Yeah. And it can't be called anything less than that. Donald Trump has faced one setback after another in just the few weeks since he launched his 2024 presidential campaign. The team at Axios compiled this list. Just yesterday, a Justice Department special counsel subpoenaed local election officials in three states for their communications with Trump and his allies as part of an investigation into Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. We know some of these are on tape. Mm -hmm. The January 6th committee chair said that the committee was closing in on making criminal referrals and the Trump Organization was convicted of conducting a 15-year scheme to defraud state and federal tax authorities and backing and Backing up a few days, Trump drew massive backlash for hosting a dinner with Kanye West and a white nationalists, as well as pushing for the suspension of the Constitution. An appeals court dropped the Trump team's effort to appoint a special master to review the documents seized from Mar-a-Lago. That's another big setback for Trump in a really important case about stealing classified documents, and the Supreme Court denied Trump's bid to block the House Ways and Means Committee from obtaining his tax returns. And a federal judge ordered Trump's former White House lawyers to provide additional grand jury testimony. All this amid a series of polls that show Trump struggling against his accepted 2024 rival, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. But wait, there's more. No, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, could there, how could there be? I mean, that is an impossible month. Jonathan Lemire, author of The Big Lie. I mean, this man is getting it from all sides legally, and it seems like they're getting closer to him. Yeah, there's a consensus among Republicans that this is the weakest Trump has been potentially ever, but certainly since the immediate aftermath of January 6th, and I guess right after that Access Hollywood tape dropped in October of 2016. This is a moment where Republicans could start to go another direction. We've seen them edging that way, mm -hmm. but most are still there, at least for now. His poll numbers have slipped, no question, but he is still, in most registers, still the highest of any Republican. He is still also the one who, though a lot of his candidates lost, he was able to handpick them. Yeah. Uh, so, Jen, is this dynamic finally going to change? There is lots of evidence. Every time we think one of these rolls around, it doesn't. He is weaker. There's no question. He's had about as bad of a campaign launch as one can have. But do you have any hope? anything will change among Republicans? Look, I think we have to be, everybody has to be pretty clear-eyed about Donald Trump here. He's come back from the dead. He's like a cat. Um, yeah. He keeps coming back from the dead. Um, and what's not clear, or what's a challenge, I should say, for Republicans is you have Ron DeSantis over here. But Ron DeSantis right now may be at his peak. You know, he's been painted by every Republican as what they want, every hope and dream they have sure. for a Republican candidate. He has obviously done quite well in Florida. He's completely untested nationwide. Nobody has lifted the hood and kick the tires, as my former boss, Barack Obama, used to say. And that is when you start to, people really start to make decisions. So I don't think Democrats or people who dislike Trump, whatever their political flavor, should underestimate Trump because he has come back and he has come back and he's come back. But I also agree that there are chips, not just chips out of him, mm -hmm. not just on the legal front, but on the political front and some questions about You've whether he's to advantageous to the, the Republicans. Republicans must be at least quietly hoping for another option. But, you know, that is something that politically, Democrats do this too, right? Mm -hmm. And you kind of think, oh, and I, I'm just going back to the way back machine to Wesley Clark, right? Yeah. Or to Mike Bloomberg, less of a way back machine, yeah. or to Howard Schultz, yeah. where Democrats think, I know who the answer is. Look, mm -hmm. look at all of the things they check off on a piece of paper, and then they see them in person, and they think, whoa, that right. is not a person who can be elected. <laughs> and we don't know if that's happening with DeSantis. And it also remains to be seen how the legal fallout will play, that if yeah. an indictment comes, does that send Republicans scurrying away from them, or does that electrify them and have them rally around? Uh, okay.